So this is an important tenet of direct response. The concept is to always include some type of element in any direct response offer, whether it's a sales generating offer or a lead generating offer, or even just an offer to consume content, what we'd call a lead nurture or, or follow-up content or a follow-up offer. One of the important tenets is, again, to always include an element that encourages people to act immediately. And there are really two ways to do this. And I'm pointing them both out because a lot of people only uh, recognize one, the first one being urgency. But there are two valid methods, first being urgency, second being scarcity. So let's talk about what they are, starting with urgency. So urgency is the presence of any form of deadline. Again, the presence of any form of deadline. Now there's two ways that you can get people to feel urgency and uh, that sense of urgency is really it comes about as a result of uh, some type of anxiety or some type of fear now this could be the fear of missing out on something that they want or the fear of losing something that they already have so there are two methods to create that type of deadline based urgency here are some examples the first examples that I have are actual hard deadlines and this is uh, based on the fear of losing out on something that they want. The deadline to file is April 15th. Tax credits expire on June 1st. These are all really good examples especially if there is a tax or a financial or some type of other compliance um, deadline involved in your offer. Um, all of these sort of regul regulatory and governmental things, they are real artificially, um, artificially created deadlines that um, do, can and do work on people. There are some other examples here like lock in this year's price before December 31st or RSVP by noon on Tuesday. So those are again deadlines and the suggestion is behind these types of deadlines that whatever the offer is you will no longer be able to redeem it after that time so if you want it it is urgent that you act now now the second type is related to the fear of losing something you already have okay so some examples of this and this gets a little bit more tricky because it's harder to use hard and fast deadlines but what works really well is uh, by letting your target envision what they're losing and at what rate and if you could do that, then this type works really well. Again, you could rework these examples so that they work for your business. Um, some examples I have are you're losing two or three new leads per day, or you're probably throwing away two to five hundred dollars per day, or even you'll be spending thirty to forty-five percent less on electricity. Um, so these are all ways that you could get people to feel a sense of urgency surrounding the loss of something that they're already experiencing and you can stop it or prevent that loss by them hopefully consuming your content or accepting your offer so those are both those are both uh, types of urgency that you could use to make people feel a deadline again either related to a real deadline beyond which they will no longer be able to get the thing they want or a, uh, a sort of self-imposed deadline that is something they're already losing and they will continue to lose unless they XYZ. The second factor here is scarcity. Scarcity is what you use when the quantities are actually limited. Again, scarcity is when quantities are actually limited. And there are many great examples of scarcity. We only have room for 48 attendees. I only have seven left. I only have time to do this once per day. That last one there does work really well if you're a consultant and you're doing some type of one-on-one -on -one, um, strategy call or a coaching call and you can only accept one per day because they are time consuming. So that is a very real reason um, or a very real sense of scarcity. Now, all of these factors work much, much better if you do one thing. Now, I see a lot of people using urgency, not so many using scarcity, but the people that I see use both, some of them do it in a less than savory way. Now, let me point out one thing. You will be much more successful if you always give 
a reason. That is a real reason why your offer has urgency or scarcity associated with it. Now, some of you already do have a reason, but it might be a little bit too difficult to explain. So if your real reason uh, can't unfold in one or two sentences, you really need to craft a reason that's a bit easier for people to relate to. Some examples that I've used are, uh, are the first one. We've received two extra cases from our printer by mistake, so we're giving away only 72 copies of our new book for free. So that's scarcity, and the reason is you got them by mistake. The implication is you don't have to pay for them because it was a mistake, so you're going to give them away. And when they're gone, they're gone. The second example is my price goes up when the current inventory is gone. The implication being the supplier that I get this from has raised their price by a bit, and once I sell out of my current inventory, I will be paying more, and ergo, so will you. Um, so that is, again, another real reason. There are some other good real reasons. Um, you can always blame it on someone else. I find that that's a really good one to use. Blame it on some third party, some external source. You might be running a live event, and you might tell people that I need to have the final headcount to the hotel by X date and X time, and they're not going to let me make too many changes after that because they need it they need to know for accommodations, they need to know for uh, catering purposes, whatever it is. You can also say, hey, this content that I want to share with you, it's not all mine. I actually co-authored it with someone else. They're okay if I give it away, but they're only letting me do that this month. Or they're only letting me give away the first 500 copies. Another reason might be a promotion that you've entered with some other group or organization. You could say, hey, um, your local bookstore has stocked enough for me to give away 1,000 copies, and that's it. Once I give away 1,000, it's over. And that could be, again, tied to a promotion you've done with someone else. Or, my vendor has agreed to pay for the shipping on the first 200. So these are all reasons why you have urgency or scarcity. Again, if you could give a concise reason that implies the source of the urgency or the scarcity is something beyond your control and beyond your target's control, that increases the the effectiveness of that urgency or scarcity. Keep in mind, urgency and scarcity is only one element in any direct response offer, but it is a very important tenet of direct response to always include some real reason for your target to act immediately. I hope this was valuable. Please like it and share it, or leave comments below, or heck, all of the above. And you can contact me anytime as well via email, and let me know if there's some other way I can serve you if you email conrad at conradflynn.com. Thanks for watching.